Dark, the darkest shirt I got is uh, right here. That, right? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. I'm gonna make it like a tiara. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. Thank you guys again. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm uh, Olivier, I'm the CEO of Stormodio. We're a French company specialized in iron electronics. Um, so we partner here with uh, uh, Seymour Screen and Tony Grimani and uh, our role one to bring you an incredible first CDA demo based on AS67, audio over IP. Um, we use our ISP EVO which is a new processor that we launched in, uh, in April. And I'd like you to remember two things about this product. First thing is that it's a pure digital product, meaning you'll see the rack afterwards, but the sound comes out just through one RJ45 cable. Okay. Second thing about this product is that it carries the latest version of Dirac, which is active room treatment, which is a new way of doing calibration, enable all speakers to support each other to dramatically decrease decay time in the room. You'll hear it in the room, but it's, it makes a huge difference because actually you don't only use subwoofers to improve bass management, you, you use all the speakers up to their capabilities to support each other. You'll see and hear all this in the room. I'll give it up to uh, Anthony. And please don't hesitate to ask any questions if you have after that. Thank you, Olivier. Um, I'm Anthony Gramani. I'm, uh, uh, one of the co-founders co of Gramani Systems. I actually have two other partners in this business. And uh, we are here partnered with this fine group of individuals doing another nice home theater demo at Cedia. I call it another nice home theater demo because it's, it's another room with a bunch of really good speakers, a bunch of good amps, a great surround decoder, all carefully tuned and calibrated for hours and hours and hours and hours of work until we got here. But to me, what's the most exciting part is actually what's not in the room, it's what's behind the room. So like Olivier said a second ago, all of this is run through audio over IP, also known as AES67, also known as networked audio, and uh, it has huge benefits. So in order to realize the sound quality we have in this room, we gotta make sure the head end is all corrected, correctly connected. And one little statistic I have is I've, done, I've worked on a thousand rooms over the last 30 years, and I've never seen a rack where everything was connected correctly. Why? Because there's lots of points of contact. There's a lot of possibility of error. So I feel like our mission is to find a way for the integrator to get there faster, simplify their life, make it more bulletproof. And audio over IP is one way to get there. So the idea is all the audio is coming right out of the surround decoder in one cable. It contains all, in this case, 21 channels. I forget, well, I, I lost track. We got a lot of channels with things. 11.6.6, it's all through one cable. It's going into one network switch, a very plain one, and then it's going into all the amplifiers that drive the speakers, enabling a better chance of everything working right. Then we can put good speakers and tune them correctly and do the acoustics right, put the seats all in the right place, et cetera. But at the head end of all of this, we have a way more bulletproof, better quality solution than has been available. I'm gonna say two or three more things. AES 67 is not new. It's not bleeding edge. So for the integrator that's like, oh, I don't know, I don't wanna to touch this, I've been burned before. It's like the actual anniversary of introduction of that technology is 10 years, 10 years ago. So this is a standard that was established and built out over 10 years from different manufacturers, mainly operating in the commercial audio business and pro audio business. We're bringing this into the residential space as a way to enable better quality sound with less issues. Once that's all there, we can actually get good speakers and good treatments, and I keep saying that. You know, the, you, you can't get too good sound performance if what's coming into the room isn't right, and this is a way to do it. So that's why I'm really excited. Um, when we're done with all this, half of you guys are gonna get a demo, the other half are gonna go at the back at the rack and look at how simple it is, it's, it's all in its setup, and that's what's exciting. Um, other than that, I, I, I wanna thank my partners for working like crazy till nutty hours of the day. If they were all on, 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 on payroll, they'd all be on triple, quadruple overtime to put this together. And uh, it did come together. I think it sounds great. Yeah. You guys are gonna hear a demo. Thank you very, very much. This is on camera, by the way, so we got this recorded. So.
I'm Chris Seymour from Seymour Screen Excellence, and uh, the couple major focuses uh, from product platforms, we're bringing out all of the masking screens. So I got three levels of masking screen yeah, the from one. the industry's far least expensive uh, masking screen on this other side behind Paul of the, on the triangle. Uh, it's the it's the motorized masking screen that you can get for the four digit number, and I know several of you actually already have those in your rooms. Uh, then there's the next level up in capability, uh, our mid-size masking platform called the, the TAM, and it can do two ways or four ways. That's the one that uh, Todd's holding up there on his shoulder. Uh, and then we brought the largest platform that we can do masking up to 550 inches. We're doing small commercial, we're doing large mastering studios, uh, and that's in this room in here as well. So uh, that's the six-figure masking screen. So we're able to really do it all and cover all the bases uh, uh, in, in different applications. In addition, though, with these partners and collaborations, we're showing new audio in innovations. So our task is not to affect their ability to bring these, to bring it forward in a demo. So do no harm in the audio uh, perspective. So we want to be as audio transmissive as possible. And that's why we're bringing the lighter Neo material. That's the material used in a lot of mastering studios in the first place. So uh, we do no harm there and allow Anthony and uh, Olivier to do their best practices and bring these new innovations and allow you to actually hear it. Uh, and then secondly, we're able to do best video practices because with this properly uh, acoustically transparent screen, we're then not allergic to the, the speaker. So we can go properly wide, properly tall. And what you're going to see into there is a floor to ceiling, wall to wall, it's as cinematic as it gets. Uh, so and go up to the material, see if you can see any holes, any weave, any texture. Uh, we're not bringing artifacts to the image, so we're able to show off Barco's uh, amazing Njord projector. Uh, we're able to show off MadVR's video processing as well, so I'm gracious for my role in this, in this collaborative event. I hope you guys kind of get it all. And so with that, bring it over. Screen size in there, width is uh, 162, I believe, 162. One what? Diagonal about 186, if you make me do math in front of people. <laughs> so, and so, yeah, 13 and a half feet wide. Awesome. Todd. Thank you, Chris. So good morning, everybody. Uh, I'll just take a moment on behalf of all of us here uh, to say thank you to you, the press. Um, it's a privilege to be able to come and speak to you this morning. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Todd Gertis. I'm the CEO and owner of Row One home entertainment and home theater seating. So our story here today, you're going to experience last year's CDA model, which was the Cortez power headrest, power recline, home theater chair. And that will be in the second row of seating. And then in the front row, you're going to experience, and it is an ironic story, the launch of the anti-theater chair in one of the greatest theater rooms possible. And there's a story behind that, which I hope you'll give me the opportunity to share with you uh, later this morning after the demonstration. So what's unique about the Calvary, you can see the model over there. Um, that model is a low backrest. So that's important in the home theater world or two channel world because there is no obstruction of the sound getting to the ears. A critical part of seating in this industry is for the seats to essentially get out of the way, right? So what I mean by that is the seat should do nothing except float your body so that you can experience what my partners have created with the sound in the picture. So that's what we hope you experience today. The last thing I'll say is we are a CEDIA member and as a CEDIA member and a member of this industry for 26 years, I believe in giving back. And Row One is a mission-based company. So come see me. We're gonna talk about the launch of the empowerment plan and what we're doing in the homeless space to change lives and remind people to give back to an industry that we all get to play in, love to share stories in, and experience relationships like no other. Started. Let's bring the first waves. <clears throat> okay. Sure. Right. Right. 